Hello, I'm Luke Nello and welcome to Best Few Plays of the Week. In this episode we have a Fast and Furious Scout versus a Samurai's Last Stand. Roll out! Let's warm up our joints with Nick EP in the SU 122 44. Starting with some good old bush sniping, the game quickly evolves into defending against aggressive scouts. And with the enemy moving in towards the green base, Nikki puts the SU in its element. Up close and personal, putting the impressive DPM to good use. To eliminate the last TD with a bit of friendly help. And finish off the RT for the win. Skip it to Shibui in the T95. The mighty American Turtle takes up a defensive position on Live Oaks, ready to receive the push. And here it comes. The armor barely holds as shells ping off it en masse. Whilst all teammates expire, Shibi bravely holds the base, dispatching the last remaining heavy with high explosive. However, hurting the last remaining arty is not something a T95 was designed for, and our hero has to settle for a draw. How unfortunate. And finally we have Roman Romanov, so roll the music. And with that, we move on to our main replays. An EBR 105 speeding towards the ridge on Prokhorovka. It's the usual, well proven tactic you see a lot on here, and our culprit is. Oh, my bad. No, wait, that is the name. However, it doesn't seem to be working well, so passive spotting it is. The drive mode proves to be too quick for the Reds to even take a look, let alone make a shot. Even when our EBR finds itself on the wrong side of the map. Like every EBR tanker with their eyes on the prize, that being spotting damage, oh, my bad, notices a crucial detail. It seems like the entire friendly tank division is slowly moving up the two line. The only thing they are missing is a forward scout. A role our EBR is more than willing to play. In little over a minute, the assistance damage skyrocketed to 11.5k. What a way to scout! But it's not over yet. Three more tanks remain, and that means more damage just sitting there on a silver platter. The stunned enemies can do nothing but await their own demise while the EBR races around them. And fittingly, finishing off the last enemy to win the game. GG. What an amazing game we've just seen from, oh, my bad. The medals alone just don't tell the story. Spotting all but one enemy and scoring a massive 18k assistance in the process, combine that with damage dealt and it goes up to 21,000. 
insane. Definitely worth a feature. Congratulations. Oh, my bad. A Japanese samurai finding themselves on the hot and arid El Haluf. Their name is Victor Virginia's son, and their tank of choice is the Tier 10 STB-1. Medium tank. This little ridge is the perfect place for a medium tank to be in, instantly putting the good gun depression to use. And with all enemies pushed back, it's time to collapse on those poor souls stuck in the ravine. With every green tank trapped in the northwestern corner of the map, it is only a matter of time before we get outflanked. A quick snapshot takes care of the E50M. However, a 268 poses more of a... Okay, alright, that works too. Cool, cool, cool. And here's the flank. Victor shows up just in time to help the T110E3. Only to turn around and face the other way in no time. In a true confederate fashion, our hero seems to be everywhere, desperately trying to keep the faltering team alive. Panic sets in as a messy fight with a 268 V4 leaves our hero with only a few remaining heat shells. And with the last ally engaged in a 1v2 fight, it's once again time for our hero to be, well, the hero and save the day. But with the last heat shell gone and high explosive failing to pen the side of a fosh, things just took a turn for the worse. However, the high explosive works perfectly against the lightly armored EBR, and with only 8 HP remaining, the fosh stands no chance falling as the final and 10th kill of the game. What a game by Victor Vichy-san, scoring a bronze medal in a game worthy of a confederate as well. This game had our hero getting 9,700 damage alongside 1,900 base experience as a tier 10 tank, which is not bad at all. Not forgetting an awesome looking Amorak as well, it had it all. Congratulations Victor Vichy-san. And with that we conclude our part of the show, but that just means it's time for you to step in. Vote now on which replay you liked the best. Was it, oh my bad, with not such a bad scout game? Or maybe Victor Vichisan, the ever-present samurai? Or do you think you did better this week? Let us know in the comments and send in your replays. Just go to our website and submit. Episode 103's best replay of the week is voted by you was... We don't know. Looks like voting on the episode is still going on whilst we record this, so I'll let you know in episode 105. I'm Luke Nella, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.